we began a partnership with uh, East Central Regional Hospital about uh, three years ago. Uh, and um, one of our charges, one of the charges for our department was to uh, increase uh, and improve the quality of services that have been provided there at East Central Regional Hospital. So one of the things that uh, I've had the privilege uh, to do is develop uh, a cognitive mediation program uh, and a social skills training program and other rehabilitative interventions at East Central Regional Hospital. Um, now, the forensic unit uh, creates an opportunity uh, because uh, a lot of these newer, novel, new wave interventions for people with schizophrenia and other severe mental illnesses haven't really been tried out. You know, because you're in the hospital doesn't mean you, you can't uh, continue to pursue your life goals or you can't continue to uh, connect with your own valued social roles or whatever it is you want to do for yourself. Whether it's through going, whether the path would be to go through the justice system or to be discharged into the community, uh, our goal is to help them achieve those things, whatever it is their dreams and their life goals are. And uh, what we've tried to do is to um, use computers as um, the, uh, the instrument to provide uh, uh, an intellectually stimulating environment. So uh, we work on attention, we work on processing speed, your ability to think quickly, uh, we work on your memory, uh, we work on your problem solving ability, uh, we work on your organization skills. I, I always like to use the analogy of uh, you know, uh, playing basketball or playing tennis or playing sports. Okay, if you want to be uh, good at playing basketball, you have to practice. You know, and the best way to practice is to get on the court. Okay, it's not just reading about it. That's why we call it the brain gym. It's you know, you uh, if you go to the uh, just like you go to the gym to work out your muscles, maybe two or three times a week. Uh, you come to brain gym and you work out your brain about three times a week. Uh, neurocognitive functioning is, is important uh, in a lot of psychiatric illnesses, in most psychiatric illnesses, in fact. So uh, we believe that uh, cognitive mediation is something that can be useful, for, not just for schizophrenia, but for a whole lot of uh, other psychiatric illnesses as well. It, like bipolar disorder, like major depressive disorder, borderline personality disorder, and uh, even people with mental, mild mental retardation may benefit from cognitive mediation.